afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our quarterfinal World Cup Spech here at HQ Trivia. I'm Buried Livingston, and obviously there's a lot riding on today. Not least, if the story is true, David Beckham's Twitter bargain with Latan Ibrahimovic, who it seems will be eating fish and chips before long. Also, of course, this is England's fifth match in the World Cup, and so we have a prize of £5,000. To win or split it, you will need to answer all 12 of our themed questions correctly with just 10 seconds to tap the answer for each. The wrong answer means elimination, unless you have an extra life. And by the way, a couple of people have commented that all these random bits of England regalia I've been wearing are a bit much, and I should really do the show in a suit and tie, to which I say, all right, not a problem. There. Now, on with the quizzing. Q1. The current FIFA World Cup trophy. Two human figures below what? A rugby ball, the earth, set Blatter's head. Trophy. Start off with. Trophy, but we know Blatter belongs in the bin. <laughs> Leaving oval balls to the egg chasers, it's the earth. The earth, the correct answer, doing you an earthly power of good, 93,617 of you. The current trophy has been awarded since 1974, and about time we got our names on it. They'll be going right there on the bottom. Q2. How many time zones are there in Russia? 11, 2 million, Tuesday. Time to get the right answer. Let's see how you do. If you went for Tuesday, then you may have done too many headers. Making the Americans look compact, it's 11. Russia has 11 time zones and 91,371 of you got it right. The zones range from 2 to 12 hours ahead of us. Let us race on now to Q3. Uh, but before that, actually, let's have a quick shout out time. Let's say hi to Josh from Loughborough, to Georgia, Hannah and Natalie, to Linda, to Jeannie, and to our boys. Come on, lads, bring it home. And now Q3. According to John Barnes' World Emotion Rap, what's the only way to beat an opposing team? Fool the ref, invade the pitch, Get round the back. Ah, Barnsey. Well, there's been plenty of play acting this year, but what's the John Barnes way to win a match? Invading the opposition's defensive line, it's to get round the back. And getting round the front of that question, 71,971 of you. Getting the England star to rap looked like a disaster on paper, but it has become a thing of legend, proving, if any proof were needed, that music was so much better 30 years ago. Or not. Anyway, uh, Q4. Iceland's famous thunderclap celebration was inspired by which club? Legia Warsaw, Motherwell, Hertha Berlin. Clapping if you win, clapping if you don't. It's absolutely thrilling, but where did the Vikings pillage this one from? Scotland's slow clapping specialists, it's Motherwell. Motherwell, as some of you well know, ooh, only 19,238 of you got that right. We have our first savage question of the day. A grimfråga, as they almost say in Sweden. Yes, that was savage. A lot of you thought Leisure Warsaw. Motherwell's slow clap builds, then erupts into the club's trademark song since I was young. Q5. Which of these Japanese players most recently won a Premier League winner's medal? Shinji Okazaki, Maya Yoshida, Shinji Kagawa. Most recently. They've never won a World Cup winner's medal, but who did the next best thing in 2016? Leicester City's samurai himself, it's Shinji Okazaki. Which Shinji did you go for? 13,115 of you went for the right one. Yes, Leicester City, those 5,000 to 1 long shots for that 2016. Kagawa won the title with Man United in 2013, while Yoshida plays for Southampton, so never will. Uh, Q6. 
Which of these tracks reached the highest position in the UK singles chart? Great Escape theme, September, Love Train. Sing for victory, boys. The Great Escape has filled the stands for years, but we're after a different England chant here. Getting a few months ahead of ourselves, it's September. September, the right answer, 5,732. If you knew that, we lost uh, about uh, two thirds of you, a little bit under. But uh, well done to you lot. The Earth, Wind & Fire song peaked at number three, but fingers crossed our boys are going all the way. Q7, which was the first country to retain the World Cup? Spain, Brazil, Italy. Think about the wording on this one. They've all lifted the trophy, but who did it back to back in the 30s? Watching on from the sofa this year, it was Italy. Italy. Italia, 1,625, you got that right. I think that was another savage question. That was a grim frorga, a savage question. This is the first tournament in 60 years without the Italians, and boy, have we thrived in their absence. Q8. Of these players, who is the only one to have scored for England in a World Cup penalty shootout? Ashley Cole, Frank Lampard, Owen Hargreaves. It's been our Achilles heel for decades, but who got to celebrate in a penalty shootout? The one and only time he scored for England, it's Owen Hargreaves. Hargreaves, the right answer, 943 of you knew that. Yeah, we lost a thousand of you there. Uh, I don't know who performed the exorcism, but there were no signs of our penalty demons against Colombia. Let's go on to Q9. Which of these Swedish players has played for the greatest number of British clubs? Sebastian Larsson, Henrik Larsson, Freddie Lundberg. Which is it? Three Super Swedes, but who's had the most British strips in his closet? The only one on this afternoon's team sheet, it's Sebastian Larsson. Have you got the right Larsson? 629 of you have. God, you are so good at this game, you lot. 629 got for Sebastian Larsson. He played for four different English sides. So here's hoping he can help a fifth one out today. Q10. When was a regular panel of pundits first used in a UK studio to discuss live games? West Germany 74, Argentina 78, Mexico 70. Whew, a lot to that question. It's now a staple of sports coverage, but when did the pundits first panel up? The only one we even qualified for, it was Mexico 70. Mexico 70, the right answer, 186 people got it right. I thought that was pretty tricky, 479 of you lost. And there they were, looking lovely. The original panels were always on the cusp of a punch-up. It was more Jeremy Kyle than match of the day. Oh, things are so much better now. Q11. Which of these African sides has never had a Portuguese manager? Nigeria, South Africa, Tunisia. This is going to separate the footy lovers from the footy fanatics. Going Brazilian, Dutch, English, French, German, Hungarian, Israeli, Serbian, Spanish, Swedish, and Yugoslavian, but never Portuguese, it's Nigeria. Nigeria was the right arts there. 79 people got or guessed that right. Well into you, Super Eagles now at the ready because we are soaring into the final round. Just 79 of you left in the match. With £5,000 on the table, 10 players used extra lives to get back in on that question. Everything to play for, here comes Q12. Which of these strikers did not appear in the official Panini 1998 World Cup sticker book? Les Ferdinand, Ian Wright, Alan Shearer. A sticky question. The albums were printed months in advance, so Panini had to guess who'd be playing. 
You might have thought they made a better guess than this because he may have missed the tournament, but Wright's mugshot still made it in. However, two-time scorer, no-time sticker, we're talking about the god of Geordieland himself. It's Alan Shearer for the win. And sure enough, we have eight winners this afternoon. Fantastic play. <laughs> We made this quiz a little bit tricky because we thought last time we had nearly 2,000 winners. It was just too easy. And lo and behold, each of you eight winners has 625 pounds to celebrate. And hopefully, a little later this afternoon, you are gonna have even more to celebrate. Congratulations to Trivi God 420, to Pabs 1191, to Cornish Cookie, to Farnish 40, to Farnworth 42, and to all of you that won today. Fantastic, fantastic work. 625 pounds. Well, well done to everyone who played. Oh yeah, and no one should tell you what to wear. I'm Beric Livingston. Bezzer to my friends. Give me a tweet or find me on Instagram. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. All being well, we'll be back for another World Cup special to coincide with England's next match on Wednesday. But meanwhile, we're back tonight at 9 p.m. with our regular round of diverse questions. Another grand prize. Another chance, a trivia triumph. Till then, from me, Goodbye. Do 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 do